Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to show you. Top 10 best fruit for grinding in Blark's fruits. And before that, make sure to like and subscribe. So let's start. In 10th place is chop fruit. This fruit is very cheap and very easy to get. I really recommend this fruit for those of you who are still in the first C and are still very early in this game. This fruit is the best choice because you can be immune to sword attacks, where in the first C a lot of NPCs used swords. And even though it's cheap, you can also use this fruit to travel anywhere because his F move allows you to fly anywhere. In 9th place is smoke fruit. Smoke fruit is the cheapest elemental type fruit in this game. Of course, this could also be your choice for those in the first C. This fruit can also be immune to NPC attacks, without hacky. And in terms of damage, this fruit is no less than other elemental fruits. This fruit also has low mastery requirements which makes it easier to use. And fun fact. This fruit is relatively cheap and easy to get. In 8th place is ghost fruit. This fruit could also be your choice for grinding. But ghost fruit is quite expensive for the first C. But if you want to try it, that's no problem. Overall, this fruit has decent damage and also has a fast cooldown. Indeed. This fruit is not a fruit that can be immune to NPC attacks, but all of its moves are area damage, which can hit several NPCs at once, and has small knockback. With that, this fruit could also be your choice, but if you don't really like fruit that can't be immune or so on, you can look at the fruit on the next list, because there are still lots of fruits that are really good for grinding. In 7th place is rumble fruit. Honestly, I think this fruit is extremely good for PvP, be it sword main, blacks fruits main, or even gun main. This fruit is very scary in terms of damage, stun etc. Even so, this fruit is no less good for grinding. This fruit is an elemental type fruit which can be immune to NPC attacks, non-hacky. This fruit has stun area damage which is very useful in your progress. It's just that this fruit is not really recommended for beginners, since it has high mastery and is very expensive. In 6th place is blizzard fruit. This fruit is an elemental type fruit as well as a legendary fruit in Blark's fruits. This fruit has a lot of stun which makes it very good for grinding. Not only that, this fruit is very amazing for grinding. Apart from being an elemental type fruit, this fruit also has a large AoE, especially its V move. Apart from grinding, you can also use it for aids, bosses farming, and even PvP. Because overall this fruit is classified as very good, so this could be one of your choices too. In 5th place is Ice Fruit. Ice Fruit is cheap fruit, and is highly recommended for players who are in the first C. The reason is that this fruit is also an elemental type fruit, which is very good for grinding. This fruit has several unique additional abilities, such as you can get an Ice Trident Sword when you use the Ice Fruit. With the Ice Trident Sword you can grind much easier than other elemental fruits and other abilities, such as being able to walk in the sea, are also quite useful, so you don't need to be afraid of drowning anymore. In fourth place is flame fruit. Overall, this fruit is very good in terms of damage, pvp, etc. Flame fruit is a relatively cheap fruit that you can buy or get through gacha. Whatever it is, this fruit is highly recommended for beginners. This is because there are several advantages this fruit has. 
for example, you can grid it quickly because this fruit is an elemental type and also has a low mastery requirement. So this is very suitable for beginners. You can also awaken this fruit, which when awakened this fruit becomes multifunctional. You can use it for grinding or PvP. In third place is light fruit. Who doesn't know this fruit? Literally, this fruit is very much desired by players in the first C. Not without reason. Light fruit is the best option. Because this fruit has many advantages over all other elemental fruits. There are several advantages that are very useful for beginners, such as you can get a light sword which is the same as the ice trident in the ice fruit. With a light sword you can progress even faster, and this fruit is also the best travel fruit of all the fruits in Blark's fruits. The reason is that you can travel anywhere quickly and easily. In second place is Magma Fruit. This fruit is very often used by players when there is a major update, where there are lots of items to look for through hunting bosses, raid bosses, sea events, etc. This fruit is literally very good for that, because from the start this fruit has extremely high damage than other fruit which makes this fruit always suitable for many things. So are any of you true magma users? In first place is Buddha Fruit. Of course, this is no longer strange, because every time there is a new level cap, this fruit is always used by players to increase their level quickly. This fruit is always suitable in many conditions, be it grinding, raids, raid bosses and even PvP. And I really suggest that, if you want to use it to its full potential, you can awaken this fruit. Well, Buddha Fruit is also very odd even though it hasn't awakened yet. So yeah. So that's all. Of all the fruits available, which is your favorite fruit? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.